Sanchez, thank you for joining me. You were here to talk about how we might need to start turning down some music around these parts. That's what I'm going to say. What would you say about the topic? That's totally fine, because then we can talk about preventing hearing loss, and I love that. So now, when you think about losing your hearing, you know, lots of people don't like to realize the signs about it, but what do you think we should really be paying attention to? Yeah, so we should be paying attention to hearing across our entire lifespan, being aware of how well we hear or if there's any problems, getting evaluated regularly, and being aware that things like loud noise exposures over a long time, like you mentioned, can have a negative effect on our ears. So can a lot of other things. So being aware of all the things that can hurt our hearing is very important and getting our hearing checked regularly. If a hearing loss is identified, we definitely wanna uptake any of the treatment options that are recommended. So now, when do you get to the point where you know you have a serious problem? What would you say is that that moment that everybody needs to be like, okay, wait a minute, I need to see a doctor now? Yeah, I mean, sometimes patients have that moment um, where they're like, I'm really struggling. Maybe I'm tired all day because they're listening very hard because they have a hearing loss. Um, maybe they've missed something that was really important and it had a negative outcome for them, right? Like they didn't go to the right place or say the right response. Um, but often we actually have some of our communication partners, our loved ones, our spouses tell us that we're not hearing better, you know? Usually they're like, you're not hearing me well. I told you three times to go open the door, do, do other things. And so that can also be a really big clue when someone else is telling you, you're missing some things. Go get that checked out. And so now this can also be a link to a brain issue? That's right. We are growing evidence um, that those with untreated hearing loss are at an increased risk of cognitive de de decline in dementia, meaning that those that have hearing loss seem to be at an increased risk of having negative brain outcomes too. So when you think about just how serious dementia is these days, and we're seeing it more and more, you know, through people telling their stories about it or their loved ones telling their stories, what is it for you right now? Like, what do you want to drive home for the people? Yeah, I think it's really important that, you know, we are concerned about dementia. We are an aging population. We are going to have a lot more older people than younger people all around us because everyone is getting older. And with that, we have to worry about the negative health consequences with aging and keeping our brain active and our body active and all of those things. And so some things we can't prevent. So a lot of the times genetics play a key piece into how healthy we are going to age. But there are things that we can adjust, such as if we have a hearing loss, we can do something about it. Other things that are known to increase your risk of cognitive decline and dementia include, you know, healthy lifestyles. So not smoking and eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise. Um, those are all things that pa patients can do to promote healthy aging and healthy brain, along with great hearing too. Gotcha. So if there were like five tips you gave people right now for the brain and to hear well, uh, what would that be? There's just some changes. I know you just gave some, but like practical changes that people who, even if they didn't hear you or didn't want to hear you before, they can hear you now. Yeah, thank you for asking that question. So first of all, um, protect your hearing. Um, regardless of if you have hearing loss now um, or if you don't have hearing loss, if you get hearing loss, it's permanent. So protect what you have now. Keep what you have. Um, if you do have a hearing loss, definitely use hearing aids or other assistive technology technologies to help you hear better. Um, and then all, all together, make sure that that hearing intervention is helping you in your life. Make sure you're having those connections and doing fun things and staying active and physically fit. All of the combination of that, well hearing equals well being. When you are, when you are healthy, you're going to age better as well. And so is your brain.